Hey everyone, welcome back. Yesterday was the first day of fall and I am so ready for this. I'm ready for the sweaters, I'm ready for the boots, I'm ready for the coziness, the red wine, which I actually have a glass of right here. I'm just ready to switch up my wardrobe to let some new things in, which is why today we are going to do some online window shopping. I have done a few of these videos in the past and you guys seem to really like them, so we're doing it again. I thought that it would be best to do the fast fashion version because especially during winter and fall we're wearing those wools, we are wearing coats and jackets and those can be tricky to find in fast fashion, things that look good, that look well made, that don't look cheap. So we're going to go over a few of our favorite retailers, we're doing Mango, H&M and Zara and we have a lot to see, so let's get to it. As usual, I have my little computer right here, so if I'm looking down is because I am looking at my screen. So let's start with mango because I have a soft spot for mango, you guys know that. I think they really know how to cater to us normal women. Zara, I feel that in the last couple of seasons or maybe even in the last couple of years has been really targeting the more trendy, cool side of the public and then H&M is a little bit younger and great for basics but Mango, in my opinion, is where you can find those more special pieces. Let's go to their new now section and see what we have. And right off the bat, a very down to earth theme, which is office. I really like the way Mango does office wear, work wear. I think it's on one side fun and fashionable, but still doable and realistic. This is what I'm talking about. This is gorgeous, beautiful, rich shade of jade green that looks great with a lot of skin tone. So if you're very fair, this will give you a nice contrast. If you have very deep skin, this is also beautiful. I love that you have the suit separated from the pants. So you can see down here that you have the pants and then here you have the blazer. So you can buy them together and have a more monochromatic finish or you can wear them separately as an accent of color in another outfit. The pants are kind of wide legged. I really like the cut of the blazer is a little bit more straight. So kind of different from the Balmain inspired versions that we see a lot in Zara and in a lot of other places as well. Something a little bit more boxy will give you a cooler structure. And this looks really well made. Love the buttons here. I think these are gorgeous, kind of a bone effect that with the green go really well. This would be great also as a transitional piece coming into spring. So it's something that you're gonna wear from September up until May. And it is a wool blend, so it gives that feel and that look of a more high quality fabric. Beautiful. Also love the model wearing it with nothing underneath. I could never pull that off, but I think it looks very chic. This trench coat. I mean, I know it doesn't look like anything, it's just a basic trench coat, but I need one of these in my wardrobe. I have a short one that I wear to death, but I don't have a classic tan trench coat that has all of the classic elements. So here we can see that you have the strips over the shoulders, you have the strips around the, the wrists, you have the buttons with the double breasting, you have the flap in the back, you have the belting. Trench coats are making a huge comeback this season and it's so easy to wear. I love the length of this because it's not, again, too short, so you can wear this with basically anything that you want, but it's also not too long that it limits the types of bottoms that you can put this on with. So you can wear this like she is with the more flared pants. You could wear this with a dress underneath. You could wear this with some skinny jeans and some riding boots. This is such a absolute must in your wardrobe. Let's go to their skirt section because I did get myself a knit 
pencil skirt that I think I'm going to be wearing a lot this year and maybe we can find something similar here like this. This is perfect. It's a knit pencil skirt in this sort of oatmeal y beige that I adore for fall winter. I think it adds a bit of warmth, but still, given that it's a light color, it doesn't make you look so, you know, dark and boring. I love this type of color for this time of year. During fall winter, I can get into the rut of always wearing pants all of the time because I want to keep warm. But if you have something in a knit that is in a more feminine silhouette, you can marry those two things together and look a little bit different, have a little more fun with fashion. I love that with this type of skirt, you can put on a beautiful pair of knee-high boots, you can put on a beautiful pullover or a cardigan, and you can go out to dinner, be very comfy, be very toasty, but still look elegant. Ooh. They have a 100% leather midi skirt. This is a piece that I have been looking for forever. One that fits me and that looks high quality. This might finally be it. It's expensive, but it is 100% leather. So very high quality will look like it is leather because it is. And I love the look of a leather pencil skirt. I think it is that perfect combination of sexy and elegant, minimalist and cool. I mean, just look at the way this lady has styled it. She looks super cool. She looks like she knows things, like she is just maybe the owner of an art gallery, maybe she produces some music, she has a lot of friends in many different circles, she's sure of herself but looks approachable. I want to be this lady, or at least a little bit more like her. I would like to find something that isn't so obvious. I feel like every time I do this type of video, I end up choosing pieces that are boring, that are expected and that I, I am in fashion, I should do better. So let's find something that might, you know, get myself out of the box. How about this? Is this one sweater or two sweaters? It looks like it is one sweater. I would wear this. This is a contrasting 100% cashmere sweater. I think this is super, super pretty. Now you're gonna think I'm crazy because it looks like you are wearing a sweater and then another sweater kind of tied around. But I love this play, this sort of fun way of creating new shapes and new forms with fabric. The fact that it is in this grayish oatmeal color helps because you are not putting too much attention into the shade and you're actually just playing around with the cut of the clothing, so it's not over the top, it's not too out there, but it has that sort of, I don't know, Nordic, not eccentric, but a little bit daring with design. It's just crazy enough to make it look creative and original, but still subdued enough that I could wear this without be embarrassed. Again, our art gallery owner friend looks like she knows what she's doing. She paired this with a leather mini skirt, which I also really love. I love this. I would totally wear this. You see, I am not boring. We have video proof now. Let's have some fun, shall we? Let's go to their shoe section. This is also the type of boot that we will be seeing everywhere. To me, this is kind of a Rachel boot. Do you remember Rachel from Friends? This is what she would wear all of the time. Whenever there was a Thanksgiving special, she would be wearing the knee-high, pointy-toe, high-heel boot. I do think that for a long time, the pointed-toe boot has been forgotten, but it's such a flattering design. It is a comfortable shoe to wear because boots are usually way more comfortable than pumps. It can be worn with a leather pencil skirt. It can be worn with a knit pencil skirt, with an A-line skirt, with a dress, maybe a sweater dress would be a great pairing for this to be considered. Leather penny loafers, yes. You guys, I am obsessed with penny loafers. I'm really looking for ones. I might get some from GH Bass, but I'm not sure 
if my feet will handle it. I know penny loafers can usually be a little bit tough, especially behind the ankles, which is where I always get blisters. So maybe if I got this, which probably costs a little bit less, I can see how my feet will, will behave. I just love the look of penny loafers. I think they are such a classic. They give up that preppy vibe. Great to wear with socks. If you are tired of wearing sneakers, I think a penny loafer is uh, the perfect alternative for a casual yet comfortable shoe. It adds a little bit of masculinity, so will take you out of the girly, feminine, frilly realm and into something that is a little bit more preppy, a little bit more collegiate. I love it. Not sure if I love the color though, because this is more of a burgundy brown. I was looking for something that is more of a cognac, but it is still beautiful. And it goes with a lot of my accessories. So I might get this. I see some clogs, which will not even phase me. I will just keep going. Let's go to their bag section because you guys know how I feel about Mango's bags. I always get myself a few because I do think that they make very interesting, well-designed bags. This one I like, let's see, in detail. Mm, no, I don't like it. See, it's the type of thing that almost gets me, but then changes my mind. When I see it like this, I think, oh, okay, the strap is going to be this chain, this beautiful gold chain, right? But then I open the page and it's this very chunky, very thick strap and the chain is just a detail, which is basically a dupe for the Bottega Veneta, which is not what we want. We have talked about this in my last video with bags. I think it is very easy to look cheap if you're buying dupes from fast fashion. You get a sort of similar design, but it is not the same. It is always a little bit different because they can simply copy a bag and it's recognizable that it's not the bag from the actual original designer. I think there are so many other bags that look beautiful, are not trying to imitate anything and will give you that same effect. So let's keep searching. Guys, I have this bag. What do you mean? But in a brown? You guys, I have this exact weight. I'll get it. I have this bag. Mine is a little bit more of a burgundy, just like the loafers actually. So maybe the penny loafers and these would make a perfect combination. I love this bag. Oh, and I love it even more in brown. I might have to get it. This is the perfect little bag. You can see that it's not imitating any design. You have the sort of slidable strap that can turn it into a longer strap that you can wear over your shoulder or even cross body. But it also turns into a little handbag. I love that it looks vintage. It has the little clasp and then great space inside. It's the type of bag that looks way more expensive than it actually costs. And I love that the gold adds a little bit of luxe, a little bit of and a shine to your outfit. I wear this to go to work. I wear this to go out to lunch. I wear this to dinner with more formal, more dressed up outfits. And it is such a practical yet beautiful bag. If you have to get one thing from this video, get this bag. And I love the brown. I actually prefer the brown to the burgundy. I think it is a easier, more versatile color to have. And they also have it in black as well. And it's just as gorgeous. Oh my God, get them all. <sighs> I could not do a little pit stop at Mango without looking at some jewelry. A lot of pearl. I've seen this bracelet in store and I didn't get it because I already have too many bracelets, but it is beautiful. So if you want, again, a more statement, bolder bracelet that will add that touch of preciousness of metallic to a look. For instance, if you wear this with a shirt that you pull up the sleeves would look gorgeous. If you are wearing longer sleeves in a black in the evening and you want to put this over that top, it would look absolutely beautiful. 
they do it in silver and in gold so depending on which metallic you prefer you have the choice i also really like that it is not a wide bracelet because sometimes my bracelets kind of slide all over this fits perfectly just in the the little bone from my hand which i think it's the perfect positioning for a bracelet this is really 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 nice beautiful necklace as well might look quite boring here on the page but i do think that this is the type of necklace that adds something to your look like let's do a little experiment not wearing anything and with a necklace a thousand times better more finished gives a little bit of attention to the face kind of finishes off especially if you have a v-neck this would give you that same effect you can see here on this very elegant lady she has a basic black blazer on but the addition of the necklace sort of adds a horizontal line on the collarbone that is very flattering beautiful balance and proportion it's the type of thing that is that little little touch that again sounds too simple to be good but it's great all right that was very very exciting let's go to to h&m i want to see a little bit what they're offering in terms of sweaters i also love their premium selection i think they usually get some really nice stuff there let's take a look let's go directly into premium selection yeah see this is the type of sweater that i would avoid if you're building your wardrobe or if you want versatility from your pieces because the fact that it is so bulky even in the model you can see that it is bulky so it's probably how it's supposed to look hard to tuck into pants hard to wear a coat over it so even though it is a cashmere blend for 150 which might seem like a great deal i would avoid it you will end up not wearing it you will only wear it if you put this on with some skinnier pants some boots and just the sweater you won't be able to throw anything on this one is really nice i really love this type of top as a layering piece i especially love this because it is not a roll neck it's just a high neck this is great because if you want to wear a scarf if you want to wear a necklace you're not adding volume to your neck and it's a great layering piece if it's not too cold and you want to throw on a jacket throw on a poncho a wrap this is the type of top that really helps the only thing is that it is in a pima cotton which will be very soft don't get me wrong but won't keep you warm this for spring would be a great solution but i'm not too sure for this time of the year Ooh, fine knit cashmere blend poncho yes we could not do a video about online shopping without talking about a poncho. I just cannot help myself. This is beautiful in this cream shade. I just adore what a poncho does to a girl. It adds warmth, but still gives you movement. You can pair this with a shirt underneath because I can see that the opening around the neck will allow you to do that. You can wear this again with a high neck, would look beautiful with a scarf. Put this on with jeans, put this over a jumper dress, put this with a leather pencil skirt. Again, see how many times and in how many ways we can style that. Someone get this. Given that we're seeing a lot of knit, let's go to their knit section because I do think that H&M does some really cute, very wearable knitwear. We're seeing a lot of these kind of sweetheart square lines that a lot of you guys have asked me because I talked about how I'm not a huge fan of v-necks on me especially if they are t-shirts or tops but something like this that is in a sort of more square shape is really great if you have bigger bust but you don't want to just drag your neckline down it's a great way of cutting it still looking feminine i think it is a very beautiful delicate feminine silhouette that we can all take advantage of i actually want to get myself something like this the cream one it has a little bit of wool as well just four percent not a lot 
but it will give you that nice touch and that sort of comfy soft feeling that i think with knitwear is what we're always looking for this is something that i would just run away from i know it is the whole 90s grungy clueless sort of preppy but still sort of rebel but i don't know the coloring for me that charlie brown yellow with the black i know it's very iconic from the 90s but it's so hard to style so hard to look good on any skin tone this is impossible to bring out the best of your coloring it will make you look just a little bit sallow it's inevitable i would stray i i would go another route but points for being trendy i want to take a look at h&m's accessories Ooh, fringe i'm not gonna talk about another poncho but i'm just gonna hover over it so you can see something that i might be pointing out that i think it's worth getting love these earrings but i hate when they don't show you the model wearing it because you have no idea how it'll look the dimension of it but i do have some similar earrings in the same shape and i wear it to death so absolutely i think that this would be a great little purchase okay i'm gonna mention it this poncho i actually showed you in this video's last version the, the last version i did of this video and a lot of you guys bought it and now it's back so don't walk run and get yourself one of these and then let me know how you style it let's finish this off going to zara now zara as i said is a little bit more trendy i feel that they have been trying to cater to an audience that is very hungry for the latest trends the cool things that maybe are not too wearable so we will see yeah and right away i can already see they are talking about y2k metaverse i am not gonna judge what do you guys think of the metaverse i am not sure i don't know how i feel about living my life completely virtually and getting my satisfaction and my accomplishments from life out of a virtual reality i do love the sims don't get me wrong but what i loved about the sims was building houses the more aesthetic part the sort of living aspect of it never really got to me but what do i know i mean i didn't think facebook would work i have friends who invest in the metaverse friends who spend a lot of time there so let me know what you think let's go to the news section because this is where we always get the best pieces from a lot of androgyny 90s sort of suit and sartorial feel i think for zara this season let's look at some coats because i do think that zara makes the best coats when it comes to fast fashion whenever you want to buy something that will look higher quality i think zara is the best out there a lot of buffer coats as well which it's very tempting to just throw on a duvet and get out the door but let's try and keep this a little bit more you know thought out this is the coat you don't want to get i know it is very tempting 69.90 for a coat for the winter might seem like a great deal it is not it is the type of coat that won't keep you warm it looks very wonky it won't wash well so if you send it out to the dry cleaners it will come back as if it has been hit by a car and when you look at it at the model you might think that it does the job but it doesn't you can see when you start looking at the details that it's not constructed well can you see that there is no seaming in the lapel it's actually just pressed down so you will not get that crisp flat laid lapel it has volume where there shouldn't be it's not precise it's not pressed this is the fabric's fault it's too flimsy of a fabric so it doesn't lay flat it almost looks puffed up and it takes away from your look instantly so if you're looking to have that more elegant that sophisticated appearance this is not it 
spend a little bit more money and get yourself a coat that maybe costs more but will look a thousand times better. This one is 20 bucks more expensive but it does already look better. Still not exactly what I would want. You can see that the fabric itself, it's still not good, but it is better than that flimsy mess we just saw. And this would be the perfect version of this coat. So it's almost 200, but it's 75% wool. You can see that it is beautifully cut. There are seams where there need to be. You can see that the color is also way more beautiful. You can see that it hits better in terms of lengths and proportions. The pockets look better positioned. The closing is done well. You can see the actual straight lines of the cut and the corners of the fabric. There's a little bit of seaming around the rib cage and also in the back. So these tiny, I mean, of course, you have to look at your budget and see which code you can actually get. But if I had to tell you which one, I would go for something like this. Don't buy a bunch of other things and buy something like this. And of course, if you have the budget to get yourself even a higher quality coat, go for that. I think coats are the pieces that you want to invest your money on because we wear them time and time again. We expect them to last for more than one season. They have to face a lot of climatic changes and different elements like rain, like snow, like wind. We want them to just have that head start of quality that will keep it pristine for longer. Time to see the Y2K collection, guys. You see, I it's clear that I don't know what they're doing because I don't even understand. Is this for your avatar? Is this something that you can wear and that you can also buy for your avatar? Is this something that you're gonna get in your house and also digitally? I don't understand. Do I get this in my home? physically. This is a disaster. You guys, I'm not getting into it. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what are some of the pieces that you are looking into adding to your wardrobe this season. I know that all of the things that I saw, at least 80%, I would totally get right now. Someone hold me back. And also let me know what you think of the metaverse. Maybe you are more versed in it and can explain to us what it's about and actually convince me that it's a good thing and not the end of society. Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see each other again next time. Bye.